A museum in Hillsborough has built an international following thanks to its unique collection. Yeah, it's not like most museums you've probably seen because it's also one of the largest pinball arcades in the world. Joe's here now to tell us all about Next Level. Joe, I was wondering earlier how we even got you out of there because I, this is like <laughs> right in your wheelhouse. We did not want to leave, Shauna. That is very <laughs> true. Yes, it is a, a combination of nostalgia and some just good old-fashioned fun. And that's true whether you're a boomer, zoomer, Gen Xer, or a millennial. Today we visit a place that celebrates games from every generation. <laughs> On an otherwise quiet block, a loud, vibrant, playful memory waits around every corner. This thing just keeps going and going, man. <laughs> Good grief. Next Level is a museum, arcade, and celebration of all things pop culture. At its center, one of the largest collections of pinball machines in the world. Whoa, that's like There's something very tactile about pinball, so the actual, like, flipping of the buttons and the feeling the kinetic energy of the ball just has a different feel to it. It all began as a private collection up until about six years ago when the owners decided that they should put these machines to good use. So they built out this interactive museum where you can play and learn. You have games I've never seen before. For example, this pool themed machine, one of just 10 that was made in the entire world. Or this one, designed by former NASA employees where the ball orbits around different obstacles. This is actually kind of cool. Yeah, so this would be just one of less than a thousand pieces they made of this. All told, there are 238 pinball machines, the fourth largest collection in the world, combined with 265 stand-up arcade games. If you stacked all of our pinball machines and arcade games on top of one another, we'd be taller than Burj Khalifa, which is the world's tallest building. But the thing about Next Level is that there's a lot more to see than just games. In fact, just about every inch of this 20,000 square foot facility is filled with just about any collectible you can imagine. Comic books, movie posters, albums, action figures, TV trays, not to mention exactly 3,142 different lunch boxes. And if you want to see all of this, leave the quarters at home. You just pay a flat fee of 20 bucks, and then you can see and play whatever you want as much as you want. That's what's so fun about the place is, you know, you forget about the game that you had in your childhood until you see it, and then you get this really cool reaction. Speaking, you, of, speaking of which, speaking of I which. played this game, four games, every day when I was like in eighth grade. Oh my gosh. It's become so popular that last year, Next Level was voted the world's favorite pinball arcade. They're up for the award again this year, and now pinball fanatics from around the globe come here for a trip down memory lane. So we get people that'll fly out, this is their vacation, to come to Hillsboro, Oregon, and they'll be here open to close Thursday to Sunday. And with all that attention, you probably won't be surprised to learn that Next Level is trying to get to another level with a planned expansion that means more games, more memories, and more fun. Go so just remember, history isn't always drab and dusty. Sometimes it can be colorful, loud, and have you bouncing off the wall, whether you win or lose. Oh, come on. Nothing has changed. <laughs> True story. So fun. Yeah, the convenience store that I lived near when I was in eighth grade had that one pinball wow. machine, and I walked in and they had it, and so I, of course I had to start okay. playing it. Okay, uh, the one I used to play, I uh, yeah. loved, was Terminator, and oh. so it had uh, it had the little trigger oh, to yeah. shoot the yeah. ball up there. Do they have that I'm one? Do you remember? Sure, I'm pretty sure they do. Okay. Again, they have however many, 200 yeah. plus. Yeah. Uh, oh. one of the It'll take me half the day to find it, but yeah. And so they're open Thursday through su uh, Sundays only. And uh, again, it's 20 bucks, all ages. They don't serve alcohol, so you can bring your kids. Yeah. And as he was saying, Connor, who is fantastic, uh, it's kind of multi-generational because even your grandparents you can bring in and there's stuff on the walls from like Bob Hope and all oh these sort of collectibles. The, the, so owners are, the owners are a father-son team that have basically collected all these items just for yeah. fun. They did it for years. Wow. And now they're sharing it with the public. You know That's I impressive. Love? I love that it's a museum, but you can touch things. Yeah. It's a yeah, museum, you so. can play with right. all this stuff. And here's the thing, a lot of, you know, I didn't realize this, pinball machines, there is a lot of upkeep and a lot of maintenance. Oh, I bet. So there are places that have, say, a bigger collection, maybe they have more pinball machines, but they don't all work. They have, at next level, four people full-time that their job is to keep up those pinball machines and keep them working. That's so cool. They're yeah. a story in themselves, right? They, I absolutely. Mean, yes. absolutely. That's crazy. So I'm guessing they won Lotto a while back, and that's how they <laughs> yeah. support all well, this. Well, again, so they, they, they collected that for yeah. de decades. But really, in it, yeah, wow. I, I, you know, I've won, I don't even have one pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. you, know? you should be a great story. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, job. that was cool. Uh, and I just need $20. Yeah. Uh, let's go.